Alright, sorry for putting off the 3D Collision video for so long, but I was grepping through old YouTube comments and I found another uh, short video idea that somebody uh, put forward that I thought would be a good idea before I continue on to more complicated topics. And that's going to be jumping in 3D games. So if you've ever done jumping in 2D games in Game Maker, uh, this should be a very familiar concept to you. Jumping physics in games is honestly not my favorite thing ever to program. I really should not have just said that in a tutorial video. Anyway, uh, the camera is basically the player object of this game. It's the object who uh, contains the movement code. So I'm going to go into the camera's create event and create a variable called Z speed. And I'm going to initialize that to zero. And now in the camera step event, uh, this is where the code that controls movement happens. And this is actually some very messy movement code that I would probably never use in an actual game that I was making. Um, just for like tutorial purposes when I want to do something quick and dirty. Anyway, gravity is going to be handled down at the bottom. And gravity, uh, you, you're going to want to... It's not going to really work anything like how this works uh, because it does use the z-speed variable. Uh, gravity, as you probably know, is the second derivative of movement. If you have no idea what I just said, that's fine. You'll understand how gravity works by the end of this video. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to say is if keyboard board check all right i don't know if it's because it's january and because my fingers are cold or what but i just could not spell that for the life of me so we're going to set z speed not whatever that says i don't know if you can actually pronounce that out loud z speed is going to be set to six when you hit the space bar and after this happens we're going to say z plus equals z speed i actually spelled that right on the first try i don't know if i've ever done that before and finally, z speed minus equals 0 0.5. So we are going to slowly accelerate downwards in the downwards direction uh, by 0 0.5 uh, pixel units per second per second. Again, if you have no idea what I said, you probably haven't taken a physics class, and that's, I guess, fine because you'll understand how gravity works by the end of this video. So I'm going to run the game, and when it runs, you'll see something very curious happen, which is that I'm now falling through the floor, and when I hit the space bar, I'm, uh, I'm shooting into the air, and we now have gravity. Now, if you want to stop when you hit the floor, uh, you're going to have to be a little bit careful where you check this, but if z is less than or equal to zero, no, just less than zero, not equal to zero, that'll lead to all kinds of problems, uh, you're going to set z back to zero, and you're going to set z speed equal to zero. And these four lines of code are going to make it so that you stop moving when you hit the ground, if you're using a 3D collision system, this might be a little bit different, but for our intents and purposes, that's going to do its job. Um, I hit the space bar, I jump in the air, I, uh, I slowly slow down and fall back to Earth. And you will notice that if I were to keep jumping, if I were to keep mashing the space bar, I will keep uh, ascending into the air. And that is because there is no check over here to see if you're actually on the ground and can jump. If you wanted to, you could say, uh, if keyboard checked, pressed VK space and... Uh, z equals zero, and then you would only be able to jump when you're on the floor. If you were using a 3D collision system, which I know I've been dangling over your heads for a little while, uh, you would probably want to do a check instead for if you were colliding with the ground, or if one unit below you is colliding with the ground, or something like that. But anyway, I'm mashing the space bar, and I can only jump when I hit the ground. When I'm landed on the ground, rather, not when I hit the ground. Then jumping would be impossible. Anyway, there you have it, an introduction to uh, jumping around, gravity in three dimensions. Like I said, it's very similar to gravity in two dimensions. I promise the next video that I make will be on 3D collisions. But for now, uh, if you want to download a copy of this code, it's very simple. But I'll put a link to where you can do just that in the description of this video anyway. My name is Dragonite, and I will see you all later.